2023 Mazda CX-60 revealed with six-cylinder and hybrid power, due in Australia this year. The Mazda CX-60 marks the company's first rear-wheel drive six-cylinder passenger car in two decades, and it's packed with technology, luxury, and an optional plug-in hybrid driveline. Nearly three years after it confirmed plans for a new rear-wheel drive platform and inline-six engines, Mazda has revealed the first of four rear-drive electrified SUVs, targeted at more premium rivals. The 2023 Mazda CX-60. Due in Australian showrooms before the end of 2022, the new CX-60 upper mid-size SUV is the first Mazda model to ride on the company's new large architecture, designed around a rear-wheel drive layout, with the option of inline-six petrol and diesel engines, or a new plug-in hybrid system. Pricing is yet to be announced for Australia, however the CX-60 is positioned as a larger and more premium vehicle than today's mid-size CX-5 SUV, meaning it's unlikely to be as affordable as the $34,190 before on-road costs of a CX-5 MAX automatic. The five-seat CX-60 will form the basis of a long wheelbase seven-seat CX-80 for Europe and Japan, as well as wide-body two-row CX-70 and three-row CX-90 SUVs for the US. Those final three models remain under consideration for Australia. Measuring 4,745 mm long and 1,890 mm wide, the new CX-60 is about 200 mm longer and 50 mm wider than the current CX-5 which it will be sold alongside, enabling up to 50 mm of additional shoulder room and a larger 570 liter boot versus 438L in the CX-5. Under the skin is Mazda's new rear-wheel drive platform, enabling a new plug-in hybrid, all-wheel drive option that pairs a 2.5-liter four-cylinder with an electric motor for combined outputs of 241 kilowatts and 500 Nm, 60 kilometers of claimed electric range, and a 5.8 second 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time. Buyers will also be able to choose between a new 3.0-liter non-turbo Skyactiv X inline-six petrol engine and a 3.3-liter turbocharged inline-six diesel engine, though power outputs for these engines are yet to be confirmed. 8-speed automatics and 48-volt mild hybrids are standard in the petrol and diesel, with a choice of rear or all-wheel drive. All three options are likely to reach Australian showrooms, though while the plug-in hybrid has been locked in for a local launch, Mazda Australia is yet to confirm if it will be offered at launch or arrive at a later date. Inside, the CX-60 becomes the first Mazda with a fully digital instrument cluster, using a 12.3-inch panel, joined by a 12.3-inch infotainment touchscreen offering wireless Apple CarPlay and, for the first time, wireless Android Auto. A full suite of active safety technology is available, as is Napa leather trim, a hands-free power tailgate, panoramic sunroof and a slew of luxury features inspired by pricier German and Japanese luxury cars. For a full deep dive into everything there is to know about the new 2023 Mazda CX-60, scroll through the subheadings below. How big is the 2023 Mazda CX-60, and what is its new platform?
The five-seat Mazda CX-60 measures in at 4,745 mm long, 1,890 mm wide and 1,685 mm tall, with 20-inch wheels, making it 170 mm longer, 45 mm wider and 10 mm taller than today's CX-5, and likely slotting it into the large SUV category on the Australian sales charts. Mazda quotes 2,870 mm between the wheel arches 170 mm more than the CX-5. There's now 570 liters of boot space, including underfloor storage, up from 438L in the CX-5, increasing to 1148 liters with the rear seats folded. There's also a larger cargo opening than before. The five-seat CX-60 debuts a new large architecture for the Japanese brand powering the rear all wheels, a vast departure from every car built by the company over the last 20 years, excluding its sports cars and utes, which have been based around front-wheel drive. With the engine now mounted longitudinally, with the cylinders running along the length of the vehicle, rather than along its width, like in a transverse car, Mazda has been able to fit a new range of inline six-cylinder engines, as well as plug-in hybrid technology. This new platform will spawn a larger CX-80 for the European and Japanese markets, effectively a long wheelbase CX-60 with three rows of seats, like how today's CX-8 is a longer CX-5, as well as wide-body CX-72 row and CX-93 row SUVs for the US. Plans for a new Mazda 6 sedan have stalled. Only the CX-60 has been confirmed for Australia thus far, the others under consideration where it will be sold alongside the current CX-5, CX-8 and CX-9 SUVs for the immediate future. The CX-8 and CX-9 will be phased out overseas, however, in place of the CX-80 and CX-90. Under the CX-60's skin, there's the same kinetic posture control chassis technology as the MX-5 sports car, which we've reviewed here, multi-link rear suspension, electric power steering, and a stiffer chassis with the battery placed low between the axles. 2023 Mazda CX-60 engines, including two six-cylinders and a plug-in hybrid. Made possible by the Mazda CX-60's new longitudinal architecture is a pair of inline six-cylinder engines, a 3.0-liter non-turbo petrol unit running Mazda's Breakthrough Sky Active X technology, and a 3.3-liter turbocharged diesel engine. Both engines are mated to eight-speed multi-clutch automatic transmissions, the first Mazda automatic with more than six gears, as well as new 48-volt mild hybrid systems, termed M-Hybrid Boost. A choice of rear-wheel drive or full-time all-wheel drive is offered, 